The Republican candidates in North Carolina did well in the midterms. They won every judicial race and several new seats in the state house and Senate. WRO Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie explains the new balance of power and what it means for Governor Cooper's veto power. Republicans here at the legislature fell just one seat short of a supermajority in both chambers. Still, they say they will be able to override Governor Cooper's vetoes, and they plan to try it out on some controversial bills. Republican Senate leader Phil Berger was happy with his party's performance in the election. A day's a good day in North Carolina to be a Republican. But not quite as good as it could have been. GOP leaders believed they would win veto-proof supermajorities in both the House and Senate. In the Senate, they did, winning 30 Republican seats, the votes needed for a veto override. But in the House, they fell one short, winning 71 of the 72 seats needed for an override there. That means the 49 House Democrats will be able to prevent a veto override and keep a bill from becoming law, but only if they're all present and all voting the same way. House Speaker Tim Moore thinks he'll be able to sway some Democrats to his side. I will tell you, for all intents and purposes, we have a governing uh, supermajority. Uh, we have a handful of Democrats who work with us. We have some new members coming in, and I feel completely confident that uh, should we need to override vetoes, we'll be able to do our part on the House as well. Moore and Berger said they plan to discuss a few controversial topics next session, like abortion restrictions, critical race theory, voter ID, and a parental bill of rights. They wouldn't say yet whether they'll advance new laws or what those might look like. The issue is something that's important to the voters, and it's something that uh, is important to a number of our members that, uh, that are returning, and we'll see how that uh, plays out as we go forward. Those are issues Cooper has vetoed in the past. Since they broke the Republican supermajority in 2018, legislative Democrats have never allowed any of Cooper's vetoes to be overridden. Moore believes that's about to change. So I don't want to over-speculate, but I'll just tell you, the conversations have been very encouraging. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. We asked the House Democratic leader for a comment on this, and so far he has not responded.